Hi, my name is CK Shaw and I will be covering some if and some ifs function in this tutorial. Let us start with some if function. The sum function in Excel allows us to add up the values in a range of cells. However, many times, we only want to add up the value of the cells that meet certain criteria. That's where the sum if function can play its role. Let us have a look at the syntax of sum if function. Sum if takes three arguments range, criteria, and sum range. First argument is the range I have to look in for the criteria. Second is criteria itself. It is the condition I have to look for in the range we provided. And the third and last argument is sum range, the range that we have to sum. That is what we want in result. Remember that criteria need to be supplied in double quotation. Look at the this scenario in the Excel sheet. In this example, we have report of each sales of mango and apple and we want to find out total sales of apple. So naturally, we will not simply use sum function as it will give sum of sales of apple and mango. So we use sum if function. We will be using sum if in this example. Now, look at the second example. We do not want to calculate total sales. Instead, we want to find out the total sales of only mobiles. So in this example also, we will be using some if function. Now, let's start using function sum if in the first example. Select the empty cell where we want answer. And we use sum if formula by typing equals sum if. As you can see, we have to supply three arguments in sum if function range, criteria, and sum range. What is criteria in this example? Answer is, apple. I hope you know criteria means condition. So, we have to first think for criteria. Keep this in mind. Once your criteria is fixed, now ask yourself, in which column this criteria belongs to? And answer would be item column. So select that column. By dragging mouse over that. Add comma, and write second argument, that is criteria, that is apple in our example. Type apple in double quotation mark, followed by comma. Now third, and the last argument in our formula. As you can see in formula pop-up help that last argument is sum range. That is, from which columns, we want sum. Naturally we want sum of sales. So select sales column by dragging on it. Close the bracket and hit the enter button. We got the answer. Please note that you will not get that green correct mark shown in my Excel sheet. Because that is all together separate program. I have written to teach my class students. So don't worry that. Why and how about the correct sign? Let us do one more example. Here, we have the sample sales report of the company called Sony Distributor. It can be seen that they are selling laptop desktop PC, mobiles. We want to find out the total sales of mobiles. So, in this example, criteria is mobile. Criteria range is item column. Sum range is sales column. Let us add all in the sum if formula. Select the item column and add comma. For criteria, type mobile in double quote. Drag the sales column, add the close sign bracket and press enter key, and we got the result. Now let us see very similar, but more powerful function sum ifs. Once you have understood sum if function, sum ifs is not tough. Sum ifs function is used when we have more than one criteria. Look at this example. In this example we have to calculate total quantity of laptops sold by salesperson Mr. Pankaja. You can understand that there are two criteria. One is laptop, and second criteria is Mr. Pankaja. As there are more than one criteria, we cannot use sum if function. We will be using sum ifs function for this. But before we start using sum ifs, let us see syntax of sum ifs function. You can see that it is almost similar to sum if function, except that it can take more than one criteria. For simplicity, I have shown here two criteria, however, we can use many more criteria in similar way. To understand it better, let us compare with some if function that we covered earlier. You can see that both function have criteria, criteria range, and sum range. 
there is one big difference between them. The difference is in some if function, some range is third and last argument. While in some ifs, some range argument is first argument in function. So be careful. After saying all these, let us use some ifs in the example. Start typing equals some ifs and select the some ifs command from drop down help and press the tab key on keyboard. As we want to calculate quantity, our first argument, that is, some range, would be quantity column. Select that by dragging on the quantity column range from the help dislet along with the command. It is clear that now we will be needing criteria range, followed by criteria. First criteria in this example is laptop. So we need to select product column, followed by comma and laptop. Let us do that. Type laptop as criteria. Similarly, let us add second criteria range as well second criteria. Close the bracket and hit the enter key. You might be expecting correct answer. But to your surprise, we will get wrong answer. Let us see what went wrong in the function arguments. Could you find out? C. Second criteria that we passed in function is Pankaja. Seems to be okay but it is not. See the salesman column data. The name is Pankaja Paddle and not Pankaja. Excel cannot take decision on its own. So, what happened was, Excel could not find any record with criteria Pankaja and so it gave result equals zero. So now we have two options. One write full name in the function criteria or we can use wild character after Pankaja. Wild character forces Excel to select all record whose name just start with word Pankaja and it will give correct result. Let us do that. And we got the correct answer. We used full name. Now, let us use wild character in the second example. As you can see, in this example, we have to find total quantity of mango sold by salesman CK Shah. So criteria are mango and CK Shah. Let us do. Equal to some ifs, bracket. Select the sum range. That is quantity column. Select the first criteria range, followed by comma. Select first criteria. Similarly, select the second criteria range. While adding second criteria, let us use wild character with partial name. And we got the correct answer. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please click on like button. Write comment. Subscribe my channel. See you very shortly with new video tutorial on Excel.